What's up everyone, this is Ryan with AppCounter.com and I've got the January 9th iPhone application review today. This application is going to cover a game that many of you might be familiar with. It's called Doodle Jump. Uh, they claim to, or the actual title of the game, it says, Be warned, um, it's insanely addictive and it's actually true. This is a very addictive game. The point of this game is to get your quote-unquote doodler to jump as high as possible in the level. So I'm going to turn this volume off really quickly. Um, now, here's your doodler. He'll jump on these little pads here. Some of the pads will break through. Some of the pads move. Some of the pads move up and down. And you also have different obstacles like black holes or different aliens that you can't touch um, throughout the game. Very simple gameplay. Your doodler jumps automatically, and all you have to do to control him is use the accelerometer of the iPhone. We have four buttons right here, play, challenge, scores, options, and a news, a news tab here. Um, if the dev developer has any news, he'll update it right here. I'm just going to go straight in and play the game. And throughout the game, I want you to notice that there's also different little, not really power-ups, but you can get shields, you can bounce on springs, or get uh, little jet packs that will actually accelerate your... Um, your speed through the level. So I'm going to go ahead and click play and here's my doodler jumping right now. You can see there's a spring right there that I'll, oop, that I'll try to grab. Oops. It's actually kind of difficult looking through a camera and playing this so <laughs> no excuses though. Let me see if I can get a little bit higher this time. Um, see if I can get this spring. There it goes. There's, another, there's, a, there's a hat that I just picked up, a little hat with a propeller. And the hat with the propeller will go up so far, there's a trampoline, and then it basically just drops you off. So I'm trying to make sure that this is still within the camera. It's kind of a hard game to play looking through a camera. But now some of these pads, there's, there's some that, again, that disappear. So these, once they get highlighted red, they will actually disappear. Um, and again, throughout the level, you'll start to hear different little monsters. There's a monster. You can, you can shoot him by, by pointing up, and there's a rocket launcher. So again, some of those monsters you can just avoid, or um, if you can't avoid them, you can actually shoot them by just tapping up, or tapping your, um, I just shot that guy. Again, this is actually a good uh, game for me. I think my highest score is 13,000 something, which I might actually beat here. Looks like I am gonna beat my high score. Again, I'm trying to make sure that I keep this. Oh, oh, and there. So I actually got a new high score, so 15,062. And that's actually the basics of this game. Very, very simple to play. After um, I play this, I can actually tweet my score or, sum or uh, submit my score to Facebook. But that's really it. Again, I can go back to my menu and I can click play. And that's Doodle Jump for you. I'm not going to um, go ahead and play that again because I'm actually stoked. I just got a new high score. But I hope you enjoyed the January 9th iPhone application review for the app calendar. Please subscribe to our channel as well as our RSS feed on the blog. Again, we're going to be updating this blog and this YouTube channel with a new iPhone application review every single day of this year in 2010. If you're a developer, you want to get your game reviewed or your application reviewed, go ahead and check out appcalendar.com forward slash calendar to see what dates are available. So hope you enjoyed the game and I hope you all have a great day.